Hey folks, welcome back to the next Let's Play for the Outer Worlds. We are at a Jello Alert level 0 and a Tally Alert level 0. Jello's asleep in bed. Tally is just being a butt today. We're going to go take Felix over to rescue his people, but before we do that, well, that's a nice butt. Butt armor. But I wanted to ask Pavardi how she's doing. I could probably spend years fixing this boat, stem to stern. Oh no. Why would I say move on? Why would that be even an instruction? All right, let's climb back down. We're going to head out though and take Felix to um, meet Harlow. I upgraded, I have the plasma rifle 2.0, so we went back to that for right now. All right, I guess we're going here. I think this is the actual base. We'll see if this, or do we have to kill everybody that's here? Oh wait, no, it's an actual base. That works out pretty well. You're with us, Harlow, right? All right, fantastic. Hey, you. Looking for something? Where do you think you're going? Uh, Felix Melstone's with me. Clyde Harlow's expecting us. Yeah. The captain said we might be getting a new recruit. That you, then? Sounds like Clyde's jumping to conclusions, but yeah. I'm Felix. You're on a first-name basis with Captain Harlow, huh? All right, go on through. What a dick. As I try to drink my tea this morning, I am drinking tea. Got my sights on you. Dude, just go go jump off a bridge. All right, so Clyde is right over here. All right, what kind of stupid things is Clyde, Clyde going to make happen? Oh, god damn it. I hate this part. I guess we got to go inside. All you are jerk faces. Jerk face make jerk faces. In we go. All these little... Outlaws. Why do we even have one of these? Is it considered stealing? It probably is considered stealing. We don't want to do that. Oh hey, let's check this out. Logs. We're just gonna go through, take everything. Cause I just like checking on. Cause sometimes this comes in handy. I just hand it to the next person I meet. Ooh, a cane that's friendly. I don't have to shoot him. Well, hey there, Hullhead. Clawed your way out of the groundbreaker at long last? Uh-huh. Oh, sorry, were you expecting me to say something? Maybe a long time no see or a you've aged, old man? Well, this is awkward. So, you took Felix under your wing. Kept him busy. Good. Kid always needed a place to belong. He's been watching out for us just as much as we've been watching out for him. Felix's family, mister. Hear that, Clyde? I've been making something out of myself. So long as you haven't been making a fool of yourself. I'm sure Felix has no end of stories to tell of your exploits together. I look forward to catching up with the boy. Tell me why we're here. I'm working on something. Something big. Something the likes of which Halcyon has never seen. And I want Felix to be a part of my initiative. I'm fulfilling a promise I made to the boy. That one day, he and I would change the colony together. That day has finally arrived. Easy there, Clyde. No one said nothing about throwing in with you. In case you didn't notice, I'm pretty happy where I am. I'm not asking you to walk away from your captain, Felix. But neither should you allow yourself to be controlled by fear. Change is not to be feared. I brought you here because I want to know where Felix's loyalties lie. When the day of our revolution comes, I want to know that I can rely on him. You want to put him through a test. Everyone in my crew proves their loyalty. No exceptions. Not even Felix. I want you to deal with a traitor for me. Name's Trask. Kill him and bring me proof of his death. His ring should do nicely. What did Trask do to deserve Desk? Ratted us out to the board. He's been an informant. Has been for years. When he realized I was onto him, he and his little cadre mutinied. Killed five of my own and tucked tail. I don't know where he's hiding, but his wife might. Rosanna. Lives on the groundbreaker last I checked. Rosanna knows my crew by name and face, but you're a stranger to her. She'll talk to you. Uh, there's more to this than you're letting on. You think so? Maybe we should have a word with Trask. Get his side of the story first. You'd be wasting your breath bandying words with that traitor. But if it makes you feel better, by all means. Remember, 
I want proof. Bring me his ring. I don't care if the hand's still attached. Here, my token. Think of this as my personal signature. Anyone who knows me by my works will know me by this token. How well do you know Felix? Well enough. It's been a few years, but I still remember a thing or two. You had a chip on your shoulder. You'd argue over anything and you'd never back down. What do you mean, had? And for the record, you never could admit when you lost an argument. You see what I had to deal with? Something I'd like to ask. Let's hear it. You were what said you were working on something big. A revolution is the work of a lifetime, Captain. I've spent my life preparing for the day of Halcyon's reckoning. Everything you see around you is the result of that preparation. A base of operations, loyal soldiers, freedom from the board's oversight. Sounds like you got some plan to overthrow the board. Hardly. The board is rotting from the inside. Tomorrow, next year, a generation from now, eventually the board will fall to pieces. Entropy is the natural state of the universe, Captain. All systems inevitably dissolve. When that day comes to Halcyon, we will be ready. So your band of outlaws living on the edge of an asteroid. No, I'm not going to say that. What makes you think you're free? The skies around Scylla are curiously absent of patrol ships. It's almost as if the board's sphere of influence is shrinking. Besides, our facility is well armed and located on defensible terrain. If the board tries to lay siege to us, we'll make them pay. So, let's change the subject. Something on your mind? Nope. We're out of here. Let's take him back to the shop. So that means we probably have to go back to the ship here. I say... We go to Groundbreaker. We go find his buddy. The cat's so mad at me right now because I won't... I won't let her do what she wants to do. Captain, if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. So then I says, fine, I'll pay you back for all of it, with interest. Nice one. You must have had them quaking in their heels. I mean, I wasn't really gonna do it. I just wanted to make them feel bad. Pay you back with interest. I gotta remember that one. Would have felt better if it had worked. Well, hello, folks. Hey, how's it going? Clyde's got a crew of his own, huh? Good for him. Did you want to ask me something? Uh, perception. Something about this feels strange. Are you sure you trust this guy? I know, I know. Clyde comes off rougher than Mantis or Hyde. He's a good guy, though. Just gotta get to know him. Ah, uh, I think you're being too forgiving... Let's see. He's a massive fucking gas bag. I'd keep myself from shooting him in the face. I'm not going to say that. I feel like he wants you to do his dirty work and then take the fall. You think he's using me? He wouldn't. Would he? He won't catch up with you until you kill Trask. What does that tell you? That he's probably using me. Yeah, you're right. I guess he thinks I'm still just some wide-eyed tenderfoot looking for a scrap. Maybe we should go have a word with Trask. Get to the bottom of all this. I think we will. There we go. We're going to do that. So we... Oh, wait. There's another Scylla bench. Hold on. Wait. Before we go anywhere. What other Scylla? Don't bite the sun. Star-crossed troopers. The empty man. Oh. Let's go to... Let's go to the empty man. And we're going to head out of here. Wah, wah. All right. Oh, all the way up there. Scylla, fast travel plan, the unreliable. Oh, God, I guess we have to explore places, don't we? All right. I think we're going to do that. We're going to... I'm sorry, Pavardi. I got to leave you behind, hun. We got to... Oh, wait. We can take you. We can leave Felix behind and take Vicar Max. Because I like to try to get as much as I can in this local area before I fly all over. You all know how that works. All right. Alrighty. Hermit Lodge. Chairman and Mr. Clark. What have the solar winds deposited on my doorstep now? Just more dirt and debris. 
or do you actually believe you are here seeking the truth? I must admit, I tire of the truth seekers. Mayhaps you're here to rob me? That would be so much more exciting. Uh, we're here to get this book translated, Max. We've been told this was once yours. I believe the knowledge within here contains the answers I seek. Answers that will free men's minds from toil. I can translate it, but it won't do you any good. I can see you are a man in a hurry, and the insights in that book would take you years of study to fully comprehend. I've spent my life in contemplation. I believe my mind is prepared to receive the truth. Look, could we just move this along, please? Uh, Hermit Lady, enough talk. How about you throw Max to your bone? Three, we've come a long way to help Max get some pieces. Is there anything you can do to help? There is one way that can speed up the process. Mm. It involves a combination of several ingredients, some of which can be fatal. It is not for the faint of heart or the unprepared. What happens if you're unprepared? Well, Ma Max just said he was prepared, didn't he? When you say ingredients, you mean drugs, right? What happens if you're unprepared? Either hallucinations followed by unconsciousness and a headache, or raving insanity, which can be fun in its own way. Well, Max just said it's prepared, didn't he? When you say ingredients, you mean drugs, right? A crass way to put it, but yes. Chemicals that can expand or destroy the participant's consciousness. Well, Max said he's prepared, didn't he? And I believe he may be right. There is both violence and peace warring inside you, Max. This process would be extremely tenuous for one such as yourself. I'm committed, no matter the cost. I don't know, Captain. Is this safe? I don't think this is safe. Um, it's safe if I say it is. We're doing this. I'm not sure. Let me think. You can go back to ship if you're uncomfortable, hun. Well, I don't want to leave you all on your lonesome. I'll just... Oh, fine. I'll do it. All right. Head on into the meditation room and partake of the sacramental incense. It's waiting on the table when you're ready to begin. Oh, maybe I should send Pavardi home, because I don't know if I want her to get hurt by that, though. June Leia like a casserole, right? Everyone likes a casserole. I mean, I don't really, but I don't count. No, cakes. Cakes I like. Gosh, I hope she likes them too. Oh, honey. Yeah? I mean, what do you need? Captain? Ma'am? Lady? I'm going on without you. I think... No, we'll do it. We'll do it. She can do it with me. All right. How do we go? Where are we going? Can... Oh my God, you all are killing me. Ooh, meditation room. Woo, woo. Breathe deeply. Okay, I thought it was just going to be Max myself, but that's okay, I guess. Poor, poor Maximilian. Maximilian, why are you still doing this? You've been fighting against the world since before you left home. Haven't you figured out yet that the more you fight, the more pain you cause yourself? Mother, you're dead. You can't be here. I knew this was too good to be true. These are just cheap hallucinogens that have... Uh, 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 uh. What's happening to my voice? Does my voice sound weird to you? And what's wrong with your face? Y'all see these stars I'm seeing? Gosh, they're pretty. Like shimmers in the sea. Your mother's right, right Max. You should listen to her. If she's hallucination, why am I seeing her too? Right, the first time, Max, this is all bullshit, bullshit. Don't fall for it. If she's hallucination, why am I seeing her too? We are obviously the victims of a tasteless joke being perpetuated. Um, uh, perpetrated? I mean, we're being made fools of, aren't we? When I get out of here, I'm going to show that hermit what you get for messing with me. Maximilian, always ready to give up, to lash out. Always searching for answers, but always in the wrong place, never looking inside himself. 
I hope you'll pardon my interruption, but I think it's because he's unhappy with himself. Ricky Malsway will at least hear her out. Thank you. It relieves me to see there's at least one positive influence in my son's life after all these years. Has he told you how he thoughtlessly abandoned us? Thoughtlessly? How could you say that? I only wanted you and father to be proud of me. I was going to be the perfect vessel. I was going to be a better... more full of the plan. This here... it's all coming out wrong. The plan. It filled you with a joy I could never feel. I wanted it. And being a laborer made me miserable. I was better than that. You certainly convinced yourself you were. But don't feel bad. We continually lie to ourselves, weaving stories in a vain attempt to convince us that we are in control of anything. These stories are how we try to make sense of our lives, but they are not real, are they? They're just stories. You need to drop your story and see the truth. Stories are real. If they mean something, if they inspire you to kindness or, or action, but maybe Max's story about himself is all wrong, and that's why he's so unhappy. Your mom told you, Max, your story blinded you to truth and landed you in prison. Nope, seeing truth is easier said than done. How about we cut the chase here, lady? Uh, Pigment. Shut this crap down, Max. We don't need this. Seeing the truth is easier said than done. You want me to give up my... my discipline? My... control? I, oh, but I can't. I can't. I, without order, there is chaos. You need to love the chaos, Maximilian. Let it envelop you. Take you where it will. Besides, you really have no choice anyway. No. That's not true. The basis of everything is order, not chaos. It's true, I know it is. So did you. Why are you denying it? Before you died, the plan made you happy. No, it didn't. I made myself happy. There's nothing holding you back but you. If you can't understand that, you will never understand anything. Goodbye, Maximilian. This whole thing, it's, it's, it's just a farce, right? Just, just my own brain working against me? You couldn't be more right. Hello, Max. What? Who? Why do you look like me? Are you me? Not really. I'm who you think you are. I am disciplined, controlled. I have no doubts, and I don't exist. Yet you have judged yourself against me your whole life. Why? Why do you berate yourself for not being me? If he does, he shouldn't. He's a better man than he gives himself credit for. I uh, don't know what to say. Thank you, Captain, but I just, I, I don't know. Is it wrong to try to be a gooder, better person than I am? But that's not what you're doing, is it? You're desperately trying to find a story to organize reality in your head. A story to control everything. A new story of the happy you. The contented you. Me. That's not... It can't be right. I, I've only been searching for the answer to the equation, because it will set us free, won't it? How? Ah, by removing the need to make any decision, to have your life completely controlled, the illusion of certainty? Your obsession allowed you to avoid the real question, who are you? I'm Max. Me. I'm real. You can't convince me otherwise. Please don't convince me I'm not. It's okay, Mr. Vicar. We're here watching over you. You just ride this out, right? Yeah, please don't do that. I'm invested in being me. 
Your individual self is what's not real. It is simply a concept. By the architect. Architect? How could I have believed in an architect? That's ridiculous. I must be losing my mind completely. What you're saying almost makes sense. We exist inside our thoughts, thinking we're in control. That's it, isn't it? We have no control over anything. It's all lies. How could I not have seen this? But how do we escape our... ourselves? You're doing great, Max. Do you think Thurman mind if I throw up in the corner? I see you're back with us. Feared we lost you there. Never seen anyone pass out yet stay upright before. What happened? I woke up. The illusions I built for myself just fell away. I'm no longer interpreting, I'm experiencing. Everything is perfect. I'm glad you found the answers you're looking for, Max. In a way. Perhaps it's more accurate to say I was asking the wrong questions. I understand so much more now. I see it all. All there is to be experienced, to be lived. Of course there is pain and loss, but the suffering is caused by trying to control reality. Clinging to the way you want things to be, not enjoying the way they are. There may be something to that. You seem happy, or at least not angry. I am content. I have finally found what I was looking for, even though I was looking for the wrong thing. Yay, Max. I'm so glad. Are we done with your quest now? Yeah, there we go. All right, folks. I'm going to leave you here. I'll see you next time. Until then. Take care.